Hey, how's it going everybody? I want to show you some important display settings on your Pixel 10 Pro XL. Come over here to your settings, scroll down here to display and touch, tap right there. And you have your adaptive brightness, which you can mess with if you want. I personally don't, but for those of you that do adaptive brightness, it's right there. All right. The most important thing that I want to show you is this right here. Colors and adaptive, right? You got your natural, which looks like this. And you got your adaptive. All right, so that's how you do that right there. Color contrast, I think this is very important for some people. This is the part of the video that I wanted to jump to here. So you got your default, medium, high. So tap on medium right there. Do you see what it did? Let me go back here. All right, then if you go to high, it really it really breaks it out there, right? So I wanna go back to default here. Now you see online text? All right, outline, not online. <laughs> outline text, just like that right now. If you do medium and then this, say you turn that off and then now turn it back on, you see how that looks. So however you all want to do it, that's how you can do it to best do your, your eyes and all that stuff. Um, I think that looks pretty good right there. But then again, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it might use more battery. Maybe it won't. Okay, so next thing, you got your touch sensitivity, something you should actually... So make your screen more responsive to lighter touches. I guess if you want to go ahead, I, I don't want to do that because I don't want a whole bunch of missed touches or ghost touches, but that's something that you can do right there. But just be careful with it. Uh, adaptive touch. Touch sensitivity will automatically adjust to your environment activities and screen protector. I don't use a screen protector, so I'm not really worried about that. Now, how it adapts to, how it adapts to uh, my environment. Maybe it's wet. Um, hopefully it's not too dirty. You gotta, you know, try not to get too much dirt or nothing on here. Um, especially if you're like me and you don't use a screen protector. If you happen to get dirt or mud on here, don't like wipe it off because you could scratch something. Make sure like you just, you what you wet it off first. Okay. Your phone will be fine if you do that. Okay. So anyway, that, that's that, right? All right. Another thing that I wanted to show you guys is this is really important. You see the screen resolution right there out of the box. And I mentioned this in my battery saving video about this phone out of the box it's set to 1080 i've been using this phone on 1080 and i do not have any problems I've, I've, and you guys know that uh, i use a samsung galaxy s25 ultra that phone right there and i run that at 1440 that phone has an amazing uh, display this phone has an amazing display as well so if you just want to leave it there go ahead you're going to get decent battery life now if you crank it up to Max resolution. Uh, there's been some people that said they've uh, it it actually affects their battery life. Uh, yeah, a little more. So that's something that you really need to take into consideration before you go and do that. Okay, but I'm telling you right now, 1080 is fine. All right. The next thing that I want to show you guys. Oh, your smooth display. Oh, leave that on. So that is your uh, your screen resolution, right? So if you turn that on, leave it turned on. It's at 120 hertz. But if you turn it off. Uh, it goes down to 60. Uh, I mean, if you really want to be like a battery miser type person, sure. Go ahead and turn that off and you'll get better and you'll get some more battery life. Uh, you got night light here. We'll never turn on automatically. All right. You see this right here. So yeah, I don't use this. It's just something I don't do, but night light tints your screen, Amber. This makes it easier to look at your screen or read in dim light and may help you fall asleep easier. I don't have any sensitivity to blue light. If anything, I prefer a blue tone on my phone. I, I sleep well, no matter what. Okay. So that is not a big deal at all. All right. So another thing that you can look at your display size and text, you got all that right there. That's where mine is set at. Uh, I'm using bold text. If you don't use bold text, it looks like that. So I have bold text right there, but you can adjust your screen size and everything like that. That way you can, yeah, that way it'll be, you can set it to the way your vision, uh, the way your vision works. Okay. Outline text. I don't know about this one, but watch this. I don't know. To me, that's a little much. Yeah. <laughs> not going to worry about that. I, I know what the app is. I don't need to read the little letters beneath it. All right. So anyway, back right there. And, uh, yeah, and of course, I think I already went over the adaptive brightness. I don't use that. The lock screen show all your notifications. If that's something you want to do, go ahead. 
unless you got like stuff to hide maybe you're a secret agent or something then yeah don't show anything on your lock screen all right but if you guys have any questions hit me up if you guys have any special requests hit me up i like doing special request videos on all of these phones all right so uh y'all take care bye